For centuries, mummification remained a closely guarded secret, up until 450 BC when Herodotus, the Greek historian and traveler, visited Egypt and described mummification in details. The problem was, there were lots of missing links and unclear technicalities, such as did the embalmers drain the blood? How do you remove a brain through the nose? What kind of tools did the embalmers use? What surgical procedures were performed? And so on and so forth. And the only way to answer such questions was to actually mummify a human corpse. According to 2001 January issue of Archaeology magazine, in 1994, Bob Breyer, a professor of philosophy and Egyptology at Long Island University, along with his colleague Ron Wade, an anatomy specialist at the University of Maryland Medical Center, attempted to replicate the embalming and mummy-making process of the ancient Egyptians, using only ancient Egyptian era tools and Herodotus' description on a 187-pound Baltimore man who donated his body to science. Experiments started with making a 3-inch incision for removing the internal organs. They were then pulled through the incision using the fingers and a copper knife. Heart wasn't typically removed from the body as it's supposed to be put on the scales against the feather of truth once the deceased reaches the afterworld. Apparently, Egyptians did not appreciate the significance of the brain. After it was drawn through the nose, it was thrown away and liquid resin was poured in the skull. Academics tried to remove the brain through the nose with a hook on two donated heads, but the tissue just didn't adhere to the tool. It was too moist and just didn't come out. We had to put the hook and rotate it like a whisk. The brain poured out like a strawberry milkshake, said Bob Breyer. At this point, body weighed 157 pounds. When all the organs were removed, the body cavity was disinfected with palm wine. 580 pounds of natron was placed over the body for up to 35 days. Natron, which is a naturally occurring mixture of baking soda and salt, helps absorbing moisture, fat, unpleasant smells and aids to reach complete dryness. According to tradition, the organs were put on ceramic platters covered with natron and placed in alabaster canopic jars once dried out. After losing 77 pounds of water during natron submersion, the body now weighed 79 pounds. It is time for a large amount of oil and resin to cover all cracks and holes, to protect the corpse from destructive environment, bacteria and moisture. Like an original recipe, oil solution contained 600 pounds of frankincense, myrrh, cedar, lotus and palm wine obtained during Briar's trip to Egypt. Following the oil and resin procedure, it's now time to complete the linen shroud and inscribe the cloth with appropriate prayers. This complicated process created the last mummy thus far and the first one since the fall of Ptolemaic dynasty. Like ancient Egyptian practitioners, American scientists Briar and Wade stop the time for a corpse and their work is likely to remain intact in front of our eyes for thousands of years.